This is how I made $170 risk-free with just two bets on the FIFA World Cup 2022. How I did this was with arbitrage betting. One was a positive EV bet on a promotional offer and the other was a hedge bet to remove my risk. To understand how it works, I highly recommend you watch these videos on arbitrage and positive EV betting to familiarize yourself with these concepts. While this bet is specific to the World Cup only, the principles of positive EV, arbitrage and hedging are very important. If you want to be a profitable long-term sports better, and this is a great way to learn and fully understand the concepts. So let's get into it. This opportunity came through a special promotion offered by one of the new bookies or sports books in Australia, BetR. The bookie landscape is very competitive in Australia as well as other parts of the world because there's just so many degenerate gamblers donating money to the bookies and every single bookie wants a piece of the pie. So BetR wanted to attract customers and they did this by offering a 100 to 1 promotion on any team to win the World Cup 2022. Now this is clearly a very good opportunity and that is obviously why they capped the stake at $10, meaning you can only bet a maximum of $10 on this promotion. So obviously we will want to max out and bet the full $10. So which team do I actually bet on? France, Argentina, Germany, Brazil, or some other team like Australia? <coughs> Instead of looking online and following expert tips or blogs about World Cup predictions, I chose instead to look at Betfair Exchange, which is a betting market where people can send in orders to back or lay, which means to bet against any team. This therefore gives me the fair odds and therefore the fair probabilities on how likely each team is going to win the World Cup. We can see that Brazil is the favourite and has the highest probability of winning, which can be calculated by 1 over the midpoint of the best back and best lay odds, which is 5.2 and 5.3, so 5.25, and that gives us a 19% probability. The reason why the bet fair odds are the most reflective of the true odds for each team to win is because it is a market and reflects reflects wisdom of the crowd, which I explained in a previous video. So now that we know Brazil is most likely to win, we're going to bet our $10 on Brazil. This gives us a 19% chance of getting $1,010 back, which means 1,000 profit, and an 81% chance of just losing our initial $10. So our expected value is 0.19 times 1,000 plus 0.81 times negative 10. And that gives us $181.90 which is very positive EV and this represents how much this bet is worth. If we bet on any other team, for example Portugal, it would be significantly less. And if we bet on some team like Australia, it would actually be negative EV. Now, this is not risk-free as we can see, we have a high chance or 81% chance actually of losing. But what we can do to solve this is to place a hedge bet on Betfair, which is betting against Brazil to win. We can lay bet for an amount of $190 at 5.3 odds with a liability of $817. This means we're essentially being the bookmaker, taking on another punter's bet on Brazil to win at 5.3 odds. They're betting $190. So if Brazil wins, then we have to pay out their stake back and the profit of $817 to them. But if Brazil doesn't win, then we just keep their $190. However, there is a fee involved with using Betfair Exchange, which is why I don't really like hedge bets. Because if we use Betfair and we win our bet, then we have to pay a 5% commission on our winnings. So instead of $190, we only actually get to keep $180.50. So now let's sum up the results of each possible outcome. In the case that Brazil wins the World Cup, we get $1,000 profit from bet R, but we have to pay $817, giving us a net profit of $183. If Brazil doesn't win, whether they come second, lose in the final, or they don't even make it out of the group stage, we lose our $10 from bet R, but we get $180.50 from Betfair after the commission, meaning we make $170.50 net profit. This means no matter what the outcome is, we will have made at least $170. $70.50 and our risk has been entirely hedged away. The expected value for this now is 0 0.19 times 183 plus 0 0.81 times 170.5 which is equal to $172.88. This is slightly less than the EV of the unhedged bet and that is actually because the hedge bet is actually slightly negative EV because one you are paying the commission to bet fair and secondly you have to cross the spread to provide 
divide this bet. Instead of getting the fair odds of 5.25, you have to offer 5.3 odds to another punter. This is why I don't actually like hedging. And I actually believe in the long run, I can expect my risk to be diversified away if I bet thousands and thousands of times. And I don't actually need to use Betfair. So I have to admit, I actually lied in this video and it's not risk-free for me because I didn't end up placing the hedge bet on Betfair. So I'm just riding out the risk and hoping that Brazil wins the World Cup so I can make $1,000 instead. I'm going to grab some popcorn and turn on the TV and hope this video ages well and that you guys aren't laughing at me after the World Cup is over. Hope you guys found this example useful in helping you understand arbitrage betting, positive EV betting and hedging. And if you want to learn more, you can join my free Discord in the link in the description below or sign up to my sports betting course, which covers all the strategies that I use to make over $50,000 in profit and counting. Take care and see you guys in the next video.